Hello everyone, I'm Mark Sondras, and today I wanted to go over how to push files to Domo via SFTP and automating that process. You don't have to do it manually. Um, you can push files via SFTP, you know, often using FileZilla is very popular, but that doesn't have a, a easy automated uh, scheduling piece so that you can kind of set it and forget it. Um, but there is uh, another utility called WinSS SCP, and that can tie into Windows Task Scheduler and allow you to do that. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So first, if you haven't um, set up your SFTP connection, you can go to the data center and then connectors, and then this, if you're at a CSV file, sorts, you can choose that. And if you haven't set up an account before, you're going to need to do that because this is going to generate a PEM key that you'll need. So I will just kind of walk you through that. We'll just call this test and we're going to say generate a key for me. And it's going to create a key and it's downloading that as a file. So we've got that next and next. And we don't, we're just going to go through this. Uh, assuming that file is kind of standard, we'll call this test SFTP2. And then we're just going to ditch this and use our other one we've got set up. But once that's set up, you know, you have no data in here. But the important thing is on the how to upload piece. And it's going to show you here's what you need to use in order in your SFTP connection and what you need to name your file. So this data set ID is important down here because that's what you need to name your file. So if we now we can hop over to um, our FTP program, which is called WinSCP. If you have not used this before, let me drag this all over here. Looks like this, a free download. So again, we're gonna use, um, if I can move this all over. We're going to use this information here to set up our account and do one important step in here. So you're putting in your host name, which is going to be your instance name with .import.domo.com, the username that it gave us. And then you're going to need to click on advanced. And this is important because of the PIM key portion. And funny thing about um, when SCP is that it doesn't take the PIM key by default. Um, it's going to, it wants this PPK, um, but we're not using that. Uh, we're gonna, we don't have that yet, but it will take, if you choose all files and choose PIM, click open, it's gonna prompt you and say, hey, do you wanna convert this to, into its format? And we say, okay. And then it's going to convert it. And then now we can um, select that and save that. And it was saved. So that is fantastic. So now that's in here. That's what we need. And then we can click Save on this and click OK. And then if we try and log in, hopefully we're successful with what we just did here. We are logs you in and you don't need to change anything here on this side on the right but um, now if you're checking your data set id this is the one from this you see this data set id matches this file name that we're gonna choose and instead of dragging and dropping over which would just that would make the transfer and that would work for manual purposes but we want to automate this so we're gonna choose upload here and then we're going to go to transfer settings and choose generate code. And this is going to give us the script that we are going to put into a text file. So we can say copy to clipboard. And then we can hop over to a local directory. Preferably kind of, I think it's easiest to use something that's um, kind of easy path to get to for our next, for our final step. So if we do a new text document and we'll just call this test 
script. We're going to paste that into here. And you see it's referencing the PPK file that it had. It's got the SFTP commands. So it's basically going to do this all kind of in a command prompt in there. There's our data set ID, the file that we're going to push. And we're just going to remove these bottom two lines here because we're going to put that in a different file. So our test script file should just look like this, kind of starting with open and ending with exit. And then we can file and save and close that. Then we're going to create another um, file, a batch file. And I've kind of already done that here, but that's that, those bottom two lines that we just did. If I go here to edit this, then there's that bottom line. And what this batch file is doing, it's calling the executable of WinSCP. And it's got some just extra stuff of logs. But then the important part is a reference to the script that we just um, saved in that text file. So it's got the slash script and then the path to that um, text file that's got that script that's doing that open and all that good stuff. So once we have this saved as a batch file, then our final step is to go to task scheduler in Windows. I can spell, we can get to task scheduler. And then we're gonna just create a basic task here, which kind of walks us through. And we can give it a name. I'm just gonna call it SFT. Just be a little bit proper, call it SFTP test. And then we're gonna go next. And how often do we want this to run? We want it to run every day. And I want it to run, you know, at one in the one in the afternoon is fine right now for these test purposes. Then we're gonna say start a program is gonna be our action. And what program do we want to run? We want to run this batch file here. And the start in piece is the last piece that's important. And so what is the kind of the root path of that? So we're just taking what's in this path before the batch file and putting it here in the start in option. And then click finish. And then now it's ready to go. Um, and you should see it down in here, ready to go here. So now that's going to run every day at uh, 1 p.m. for this one. My earlier test was going at 8 a.m. and that ran uh, successfully. So really didn't have to write any code. Um, all I did was have WinSCP generate that for me. And the important steps with that was that it was uh, converting that PEM key that Domo generates into a PPK key, saving that, and then uploading and then choosing that generate script in order to uh, do all this for me. So I didn't have to be a, a programmer in order to do all of this, which is really nice. So I hope you found that helpful um, and please reach out if you have any